a caries breakthrough, and good news for patients who dread needles and drills. Hi, I'm Allie Cook for the Dental News Network. Today's September 9th, 2015, and this is your Wednesday Watch. Here's today's dental news. There's good news for people who dread anesthetic injections and the sound of the dental drill. A new technology developed by British scientists may be able to painlessly repair teeth by supercharging the remineralization of tooth enamel. Since demineralization makes tooth enamel weaker and more porous, resulting in decay, fillings, then more decay, then more fillings, scientists aim to end this cycle. Remineralization occurs naturally with minerals present in saliva and some foods, and it strengthens tooth enamel. This new prototype device can speed up this process to the same amount of time it would take to have a filling, but without the injections in the drill. Researchers believe this could have a major impact on global dental health care. Oral cancer screenings, diabetes testing, and now possibly screening for drug abuse. Many clinicians believe these are all part of the routine visit to the dentist. Researchers at Columbia University found that 77% of dentists ask patients about illicit drug use, and 54% believe that these kinds of screenings should be their responsibility. Older dentists were less likely to inquire patients about substance abuse than their younger counterparts were. Gender was also examined, with more female dentists than males agreeing that illicit drug use screening should be the role of the dentist. The full results of the study can be seen in the journal Addiction. Coming up, scientists have figured out why some kids have a sweet tooth. A sweet tooth in some children may have been created by the baby food they ate, according to scientists in the United Kingdom. Commercial baby foods use a lot of sweet vegetables like carrots and sweet potatoes, which don't allow young taste buds to appreciate other flavors. The researchers recommended a balanced diet, including home-cooked vegetables, to promote a wider variety of tastes. One dentist in Maryland is practicing more than dentistry at his office. He's also honing his skills as a drummer. Currently age 67, he picked up the sticks only seven years ago, later in life than most musicians, but once he started taking lessons, he became proficient. He relocated his drum set to his dental office to give his wife some peace and quiet, he says, and his daily routine includes getting up early, working out at the Y, and then practicing for about a half hour before patients come in. Sounds like a great way to relieve stress. Thanks for checking out the Wednesday Watch. We'll see you next week with more from DNN and Dentistry Today.